after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph did some things for Jesus that helped him when he was only an infant to perfectly keep God's law and the covenant. One of the things they did, we are told in Luke chapter 2, verse 21, on the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. Remember that? That was like Gabriel told Mary, even before she was pregnant, that she would have a son and told her what to name him, name him Jesus, because that means God saves. God saves. Cool, huh? Anyway, but did you catch the part about circumcision? Well, you might wonder, okay, now why is that in the Bible? Is that important? Yeah, that's important. Because God instructed that Jewish males were to be circumcised on the eighth day after their birth. Now, where did we get that? Well, that we have to go clear back to the time of Moses. Moses lived from 1526 B.C. to 1406 B.C. He lived to be 120 years old, and this was like 1500 years before the birth of Jesus, right? Okay, so, back then, God gave these instructions, and we can find this in Genesis chapter 17, verses 12 through 14. For generations to come, every male among you who is eight days old must be circumcised. And I'm skipping some, but it says any uncircumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh will be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Well, obviously we couldn't let that happen to Jesus, right? He can't be cut off or else how can he be um, God's perfect sacrifice for us? So Mary and Joseph had to help Jesus as an infant keep God's law, and they did that. They took him to the temple on the eighth day for his circumcision. And you might wonder why circumcision was so important to God. Well, it was symbolic. Um, circumcision is what? It's cutting off the flesh in the most intimate place. And our flesh is what the Bible sees as that earthly part of us that is sinful and God wants us to cut away the most the the fleshly sinful parts of us to the most intimate place so that we can have a relationship with him so it's symbolic of the circumcision of our hearts and our spirit and our flesh visit my blog at www.bibleprophesiesfulfilled.blogspot.com It'll be right there on your screen. Yeah, right there. Also, subscribe to this channel. This is Diane. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Yeah, it'll be fun. Trust me. See you later.